peoples, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Coach Master, and today we are back for another minimalist style video on habits of organized people, part four. Let's get right on with the video. Not too many people define fun with cleaning and organizing, but there are some little things that you can do to make the whole process a bit more bearable. You might even start to find it more enjoyable. You can do this by making your organizing sessions times when you relax and unwind. Don't set high expectations or limit yourself to a short amount of time that will make you stressed out. If you're including your kids in the organization process, you can make it fun for them by setting a timer and challenging your kids to get a certain area of the house cleaned up before the timer dings. You can have a reward waiting for them if they pass this challenge. Be happy with less. You don't need the newest and greatest gadgets to be happy. Rather than buying more, focus on buying less and be happy with what you have. If you don't have something that you need, try to find a way of around going out and buying it. Find creative ways to make the things that you already have work rather than carving to the temptation of needing to have everything. Ditch duplicates. Another one of the habits of extremely organized people is getting rid of duplicates. There's probably no reason for you to have several sets of steak knives sitting around your house and you probably don't need that spare coffee maker in your storage room either. Keeping duplicates is handy in the sense that if something breaks, you can have it quickly and replace it cheaply. But if you keep duplicates for everything in your house, just in case something breaks, you won't have any room to live. That's all I got for you guys today. Go check us out my other videos and do not like, comment, and subscribe. Don't do it.